Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to day three, lesson three of music, learning about the orchestra. We're gonna start on brass instruments. So can you guess what instrument this is I have in my hands? It is a brass instrument and I'll give you a hint, you ready? It has a slide. It's called the slide trombone, the slide trombone. So for lesson three, make sure that you submit your form. You should have already submitted two forms for lessons one and lesson two. Um, and then make sure you go ahead and submit your form today after watching the first half of the brass instrument. So this is just like the stringed instruments. You're gonna watch half of them today and then the other half next week with lesson four of the brass instruments. So let me tell you a couple things about brass before I leave you today. Brass instruments, yes, are made of brass, but that is not the only thing that makes an instrument fit into the brass family. One of the main qualifications to being a brass instrument is that you have to put your mouth on this mouthpiece and buzz your lips. <laughs> You buzz to make a sound. Another thing about brass instruments is that they all have these horns or bells. They're called a horn. Think about it. Back in the day before we had these fancy, beautiful instruments, people used animal horns and conch shells to blow into and make a sound. And so today, actually in the 1800s, 1812 I think it is, they invented a way to change the sound instead of having different sizes of horns longer horns for a low sound and shorter horns for a higher sound they made these tubes and they said all right if you just lengthen it it'll make a lower sound and if you shorten it it'll make a higher sound and so they found a way to heat metal and bend it and make it into tubes so that we could lengthen and shorten one instrument. So you'll see valves on a trumpet and on a tuba and on a French horn and tubes and tubes of brass winding around and around. If you lengthened out the tubes in a trumpet, it would be six feet long. Can you imagine blowing a horn six feet long? People would have to carry a huge long horn to make a lower sound. So I hope that you enjoy learning about brass instruments today and next week. Remember to submit your forms and happy learning.